when I was a small child, say kindergarten age, uh, I read print like this. I've always loved to read. One of the biggest challenges related to that is getting the opportunity to learn Braille. Before learning Ally, I don't even remember what my life was like because learning Ally has made such a big in impact. It's just a hu huge asset. So what I'd like to read today is chemistry books, graduate level chemistry books. When I received a Learning Ally book for a math course or a science course, it was incredibly important that the equations and diagrams were described and read meticulously. He's so intellectually curious and in such a fun way because he comes and asks questions and he asks things in a way that you're like, ooh, I hadn't thought about that. Chemistry textbooks, for instance, are very visual. And when I could pull out my Learning Ally organic chemistry book and build the model based on the description, for instances when I couldn't imagine in my mind what the description amounted to, that was tremendously important. He can go into his mind and turn images around. That's the hallmark of a very good organic chemist. I was once standing outside my general chemistry classroom and two other classmates were saying that they had such a hard time because they couldn't see what was the subject matter. They couldn't see atoms. And so I jested, neither can I. So there's nothing preventing me from imagining what molecules look like. In your lifetime as a, a professor, you have a few truly gifted students, and Matthew is one of those students. Chemicals fascinate me because you can think of them as people. Just like we, we are interacting, molecules interact. It's a whole nother world on the microscopic scale. And there's conversations, there's molecules coming together and pulling apart, but make me able to talk and live right now. And all of that activity is happening unconsciously. It's just, just an amazing thought. But there's trillions of molecules, trillions of atoms within those molecules, and the interactions within and between molecules makes life and everything else possible. Chemistry is truly the central science. God willing, when I finish my course of study and my research endeavors as a graduate student, I hope to be a chemistry professor to share my love of the subject with others and get someone else excited.